So many people have reached out to me this week looking for ways they can calm their mind quickly in the midst of chaos. It is possible to be like the eye of the hurricane, still in focus despite the turmoil that's going on outside. Here's a five minute mindset routine that will get you from panic or stress into assured action. Step one, zero inputs or clarity breaks. Set a timer for minimum one minute, maximum two minutes, and just close your eyes. This gives your brain a much needed time to sort the onslaught of inputs you've been receiving from morning to night. A minute is all you need to send to yourself. Longer than two minutes and your brains naturally start thinking again and you can feel like you haven't truly meditated. This is especially true if you're new to any sort of proactive mental health or self-care routine. This minute is your grounding minute. Step two, compassion. For the next one to two minutes, we'll focus in on asking ourselves, what do I need? And in searching for the emotional requirement. Then we can practice giving ourselves that reassurance that we're looking for. It can be really helpful here to picture yourself standing in front of you. Now, whatever you need to hear to feel secure, tell yourself that, exactly like you would to your favorite person in the world. Ask yourself, what do I need to hear right now? And the answer will come naturally. Step three, gratitude. In stressful situations, our minds are experts at focusing in on what's going wrong and what the threat is. Gratitude, which is searching for and appreciating what's good in our lives, is the antidote to the overly narrow view of fear. It expands our worldview and helps us see the entire picture and any opportunities that might be there. Gratitude works best when we phrase it as, I'm thankful for, because. And we can focus on people, events past or present, opportunities and the little things. You can spend your minute focusing on one person or thing or move through a list. Step four, loving kindness. Now we're ready to bring our attention outwards and give a brain a rest from our problems. Pick a person in your life and spend one minute wishing them well. Repeat the phrases, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy. Change the wording to suit your language while keeping that attitude of friendliness and kindness. This is amazingly powerful practice and has plenty of benefits for your own health. Step five is taking positive action. For your final minute, ask yourself, what's the most good I can do right now? Note that this isn't, what's the most good I want to do or what would I most like to do right now? The first question might lead you to thinking of all the things you can't do and that's not helpful. And the answer to the second one might be that you want to just hide or shirk from responsibilities. This will only feed your fear and not be helpful in the long run. Once you've asked the question, whatever action comes to you, you can start to do it. Taking action, even if it's imperfect, gives you a sense of control and a sense of pride. And it's okay if while taking one action, you think of something else you could be doing or need to do. That can be the next good action you take. Periodically throughout the day, when you're tempted to try to distract yourself on social media or numb yourself in some other way, try taking a minute free from input. These clarity breaks will help fuel your mindset and your mental health. You'll be calmer, you'll be more proud of the day you've had, and you'll have a lot of positive impacts that will ripple out to everyone you care about.